it's your girl on Ako Ibeti TV. In today's video, guys, we are going to be talking about the University of the People. Now, the question is, peer-to-peer -peer learning at University of the People, is it a pro or it's a con? Okay, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to answer that. But before I start, I want to welcome back my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for always coming back to watch my video. I'm super, super excited that I have you guys that are always behind me and watching my back and for those that are watching me for the very first time this is Ako Ibe reporting on Ako Ibe TV and on today's video I am talking about University of the People so if you haven't subscribed to this channel I have a lot of video coming up I give updates about uh, superstars I give biographies and I give reports on trending news viral videos and so on and so forth a lot of interesting videos and I also give updates about University of the People Okay, so like I said in today's video, we are talking about peer-to-peer -peer learning. And the question is, is peer-to-peer -peer learning at the University of the People a pro or a con? Okay, so for me, I will personally say peer-to-peer -peer learning, I will say in the first instance, I will say it's a con. Why do I say so? Because, you no, know, when they talk about peer-to-peer, -peer, um, I'm talking about peer-to-peer -peer grading or rating. Now I'm talking about written assignment at University of the People. Written assignment at University of the People is an assignment that are being given to students and when this assignment is being done, students are the one that actually rate the assignment. Like they go through your assignment, they, they read it and they give you marks. So it's just like a teacher marking a script and giving the student the marks that he or she deserves. So at that point, this, the teacher is not involved at that point. Yeah, there, there will be a point, there's a point that the teacher can get involved. That is if the students now go ahead to tell the instructor that, okay, sir, you know what, I wasn't graded fairly, so you need to check it out. But the first instance, what happened is that the students, the, 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 the classmates are the ones rating their peer assignment so the your classmates are the ones rating your assignment you you yourself you are rating their own assignment and they themselves they are rating your assignment like three people you're being given three people to rate to, to, to go through the assignment rate it why the others to uh, do the same they're being given three people to, to like go through their assignment uh, read it and then rate it so at the end of the day, one of the persons, or one of the, your classmates is rating your assignment. So now, why do I consider it to be a con? I consider it to be a con because I am a university of the people, a, a student, and a lot of students don't pay attention. They don't even read through your assignment. They don't even go through it and to know that, okay, this is what you wrote. And they don't even try to understand what you are talking about. Okay, they don't try to understand what you are talking about. So they just... Uh, they just give whatever mark they feel as to give. They, they, most of the time, they don't give the marks that correspond to whatever you wrote to your to your to your to your assignment. And another thing is that most students do, they don't understand the fact that now we are students, we are not teachers. So if you're being asked what is e-commerce, for example, I am going to be I am in school because I want to learn. I am not a teacher. I have a teacher that is teaching me. So I, I am in school because I want to learn. So if I am in school, you are in school and I and you, we the two of us we are being asked what is e coming. I now give my own definition. You now give your own definition. Me rating you, I will consider you as a student first. On my mind, I will take you as a student first. I will not feel like I will not take you as a teacher. Because, yeah, I will not take you like a teacher. I will consider you as a student first. That is what most students fail to understand because they feel like when they are rating, they are their classmates assignment they take them as teachers that is the reason why they get to give them low grades low marks which is so unfair which is so unfair for me i'm not saying you should give students marks that they don't deserve i'm saying that you should try to understand there are students that know exactly what they are writing but they don't know how to put it down. They don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to put it down in writing. They don't know how to really explain it. But they know. If they know, they, so if you, when you read what they are trying, you 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 will definitely understand. That, okay, this the way this student is writing, it shows that he or she understands what he or she is saying. But it's just that maybe it's not the, the understanding is not that deep. But at the end of the day, she understands what she's trying to say, but she didn't go deeper. So most students forget that. 
That is why I say the 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 the, the peer to peer grading already is a con because at the end of the day, students get to receive marks that they don't deserve. They deserve more than that. They deserve more than that. But because students always take their own peer or their own cosmic as teachers, now they get to mark the students' script as if they are marking, they, they, they were expecting exact answers. Instead of them to go through that assignment or through that whatever they post that is being written and then try to get the point that the student is trying to say, and then understand that this is a student we are talking about they are not teachers okay so at the end of the day you see that you get to you get to receive marks that um you don't deserve you deserve more than that okay but you are being given less marks and some students just come in at at the point where it's almost uh, uh the, 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 the 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 time the 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 latest date okay it's the due date okay when they are supposed to submit or do the the rating and they just come in there's so much in rush there's so much in the haste you now there's no time they just have few minutes left so they just rush through the assignment they just give whatever marks they don't some of them don't even read they just rush through the assignment and they just give marks that you deserve more than that so it's very very bad so though at the end of the day at the advantage the the the, the what is interesting about it is that at the end of the day, you can actually report to your instructor if you feel like the marks you are being given, you deserve more than that. But at the end of the day, what if something goes wrong? You, you So what if something goes wrong, you might even forget to complain, you might even, before you know it's time passed, or you might, there, there might be network issues, Some just some little little issues that might cause you not to actually get to your instructor and some instructors too like i said i've come i've had a course where the instructor is so not how do i say it the instructor doesn't really pay so much attention to students complain because i was graded unfairly i was rated unfairly and when i let this teacher know that okay this is what happened it took him like weeks to reply to me it took him like weeks to reply to me and all you could say is that uh, the, the student, the student saw that the student gave the mark fairly. That oh, uh, the student went through the blah 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 blah. I just gave flimsy excuses that I didn't even, I I, I didn't even see that excuse as there, there was no there was no there was no reason, reason explanation to what he was even saying. I could not even understand what he was saying, what he was explaining. Okay, so it's that's why I consider peer to peer grading or reading as a con, but. The interesting part of it is that there is a solution to that because uh, I, I just pray that at the end of the day, you should not be dealing with an instructor that doesn't listen to you, that doesn't pay attention to you, or doesn't uh, uh, um, make corrections when you like point out that this is where you are lacking, this is where something went wrong. And I just pray that you shouldn't have that kind of instructor because if you actually have a good instructor that gets to you, communicate with the class, and then corrects when things go wrong and and listen to your complaint then there is no problem when student actually breaks you wrongly you can actually just run rush to that instructor you complain and everything will be done so that's just the interesting part of it because there is a solution that's a good part of it because there is a solution to that had it been there was no solution like it all depends on the student like a lot of students will fail not because they don't know what they are writing or because they, they didn't concentrate in the assignment and so on but just because some students just read them unfairly read them unfairly yeah, so that is just why I consider it to be a, a con. Alright guys, so that's what we call written assignment at University of the People. When you hear about your written assignment at University of the People, just know that students will be the one rating your assignment. You will have to write, answer the question, or, or submit it, and at the end of the day, students are the one giving you the grade. But the good part of it is you, if you find your grades, not deserving if you find out that no this is not the kind of grade i deserve like i deserve more than this you can actually just rush to your instructor complain to your instructor and then everything will be corrected everything will be fine so when you get to hear of written assignment at university of the people for the old student and the new students i know the old students already understand perfectly well but i know somehow they're picking up points from it especially the new students just the maybe the term one or the, the yeah term one student 
maybe they don't know that they can report to their instructor when their written assignments are not being graded or rated fairly all right so you can actually report to your instructor so that is just what we call written assignment at university of the people we are going to be looking more about uh, uh, things happening at university of the people in the next video thank you guys so so much for always coming back to watch my video please don't forget to stay the comment at the comment section let me hear your take on this let me know what you let me just know what you have learned from this video or what you just have to say or what you want me to talk about at university of the people okay so oh uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button comment also share this video because it's going to help someone out there and thank you and do have a blessed day thank you